Hello. Today's lesson is about showing you how to make your own functions. I've written some code, so let's click on this Run button and see what's there. First few lines merely display some text on the regedit. After that, I get a value for num, and then I print a number times table. So one times num and two times num, etc. So that's what this little loop does. Now, because the lesson is about functions and procedures, I want you to notice that this is a procedure. In other words, when this button is clicked, these lines are executed. However, today's lesson is about a function. And let's show you the difference between a function and a procedure. I have already written my own function higher up in the code than the button run procedure. And that function has the name heading. And notice that the word function is at the beginning, then the word heading, then a colon, as if heading or this function is a data type or a variable. So functions must have data types. Function, heading, that's the name. You can call it anything else. But this name must have a data type. So inside this, I declare my variables that are local to the function. In other words, these exist only in this function. And I've copied those first three lines of code in here. And the last line of code in my function is the word result colon equals temp. So what happens here? When I use result, the value of result, and temp is stored in result, is sent back to the calling statement of the function, effectively in the, the name of the function. So let's go and look where I call this function. I haven't called it yet, but let's... Oh, here I have. I have called it yet. Readout.lines.add heading. Heading is the name of the function. You can see it's not in inverted commas. It's merely the word heading. So this, Delphi knows that this refers to the function over there. So whenever I'm printing heading, it will print whatever is stored in heading or whatever was stored in result inside the heading function. So all of this will now be stored in result. And that will be printed when I call readout.lines.add heading. So let's run this program and see what happens. It asks for a number. I know it's going to print the five times table. And here, this is the result of displaying heading, the function heading. Great. So let's talk a little bit more about that. A function is something that returns a value. So that function, heading, returns a value according to that data type. And where does it come from? From the word result. So whatever is stored in result will come back through the word heading and something will be done with it in the calling statement. That's effectively, merely that word is effectively the calling statement of the function called heading. So why do we use functions? Well, it's very useful if I have lots of complex code and I want it to be calculated and instead of redoing all that code, I call the function many times. So already... I have three fairly complex lines of code that are going to be printed. And if I repeat this line, well, let's just copy and paste. And let's do it a few times. And see how easy it is now to, re to repeat those three lines of code by merely calling that function each time. So run, do the two times table. And look here, I have those three lines of code printed three times. And that's because I've merely copied one line three times. So whenever I have to repeat code and I want to get a result back from the repeated code, I use a function. We'll get to procedures in the next lesson. A final thing to point out here is that the procedures and functions that are generated or that exist in Delphi already, like the button run one as an example. We merely put a button on the screen and double-clicked it, and Delphi created this procedure. Those on the form have the word tform1, or the name of the form, in front of the procedure. But my function that I created does not belong to the form. It belongs to me. So this function does not have the word, the name of the form, in front of its, its name. And then the second thing I wanted to point out is that the function that I created, my user-defined function, so to speak, has to be above the procedure that calls it, or the function that calls it, for that matter. In other words, 
Delphi is written in such a way that if this procedure refers to a function, that function must be described or declared higher up in the code. Otherwise, it won't find it, even though you can see the code in your program. So remember, functions and procedures that you write must be higher up in the code, and neither of them, if you write them, they don't have the form in, uh, at the front of their name.